Welcome back one and all, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing with our Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2. Where we left off last time, we uh, were in the Merchant Quarter. We picked up a new quest to help Nisha. We have also helped out a child thief. And I went and picked up a great axe between videos, so that's really all there was that I did so far. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I'm just kind of winging it. There's city watchmen guarding this house. Move along, citizen. And move along, citizen. We're just going to kind of wander a little. You can see that Kelgar is now carting around a great axe, which I think will be pretty good for him. Black Lake District is that way, but we can't get there, so I guess through that door. We checked uh, his crafting materials. They weren't anything of note. There's a Temple of Tear here. Let's go take a look if they have any quests for us. I can't honestly recall. But they might. If they do so much, the better. His name is Hilam. Welcome, you seek an audience? By the nine hells we do, I'm looking to sign up. You wish to join the Disciples of Tyr? If that's what you call those skinny twigs who threw me out the window of the Dragon's Talon, then yes. Can you help, Kelgar? It's odd that any of the even-handed would seek out, seek out battle. Like most of our fate, they usually only respond when provoked, and rarely violently. Eh, yeah, well, I might have stirred things up just a bit. But that fight taught me some things, and I want to learn more. About our faith? No, 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 no. Fighting's the only religion for me. I want to learn how to fight like them, and learn how they were able to beat me so easily. If you were defeated, such a defeat must have been just. Tyr teaches us this. Your loss is meant to reveal a truth. Truth? The truth is that they beat me like a half clan whelp, and I want to know how they did it. If you seek to learn from your loss, then you must discover why you were so easily defeated. I don't think you're hearing the words coming out of my mouth. That's why I'm here, to learn. But we cannot help you. Is that so? Well, maybe I'll help clean the floors in here with your face. Will that change your mind? Wait, surely there must be some way he can learn. Tyr puts all who come to him for help on trial. He judges who is worthy and who is not. Alright, sounds fair to me. Tyr wants bears fighting for him, not mewling little cubs. So what is this trial? Burning coals? Drinking contest? What? The path of Tyr is that of the maimed, so the even-handed and the just. So are the trials. Can you tell me about them? The path of the maimed requires that the petitioner face those he has wounded, usually those of his bloodline or clan. Hm. <laughs> Never turned a blade against my clan, I haven't. If I knew where some of them were, you could even ask them. Only when one understands how their actions might hurt another, inadvertently or not, can he truly understand himself. Alright, tell me about the trial of the even-handed. The trial of the even-handed requires the petitioner learn to see all around him in equal light without the trappings of prejudice. Prejudiced? I'm not prejudiced. By the Nine House, I even travel with the backstabbing tiefling of all things, and you know how her kind are. Without such perspective, there can be no justice. For you have passed judgment before you even know those around you. But how can one be made to see? Often the best way to learn is with those one travels with. When a petitioner understands something he travels with, someone he travels with, then he will learn to see fairly others he meets for the first time. Tell me about the trial of justice. To fight is not enough. To fight for a cause, that's where the strength lies. When you fight for a higher purpose, something beyond the self, you will find that you gain strength through your actions and become impossible to defeat. Okay, we've heard enough. Agreed. Now, where do I go to meet these tests? I cannot answer that for you. Each petitioner is challenged, depending on their own path, not a moment of our choosing. All I know is that you have not yet faced these trials. They are yet to come. This is ridiculous. I've heard enough. Castle the Dwarf, will you? Who needs you? Very well. Would you have faced the trials? Come seek me out, Kelgar of Clan Iron Fist. Got more questions? No, I don't. So we learned about Kelgar's vision quest now. He wants to become a monk, which is dumb, and he should not be allowed to do so. Warriors, or sorry, fighters, I guess, in this game are way, way better than monks. Unfortunately, monks took a little bit of a hit between Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2. They turned from pretty good killing machines to sort of mediocre killing machines. The Moonstone Mask. Let's head in there, I guess. It's time to get this main quest going again. Oh, I have a sneeze. Or I had a sneeze, but I managed to suppress it. Which you really shouldn't do. I've heard, anyways. Evelyn, what's up? 
Hello, are you sure you meant to come to the Moonstone Mask? I'm sure you'll find more affordable establishment in the Docks District. What are you talking about? The Mask is no common tavern. Our goods and services are very expensive. You obviously can't afford it, so you'll have to leave. Are you always this rude to your guests? But you're not a... What I mean to say is... Oh, never mind. Enjoy your stay. Call me if you need anything. Be warned. If I don't see you spending coin, I'll have you thrown out. Evelyn, you don't have enough bouncers to do that. Alright, Ophala. Nishka, perhaps now is not the best time to return. Weldon is not in the best of moods since your last visit. I know, I know. We already got Weldon's messages. I'm not surprised. He has a gang of thieves and cutthroats serving him now. He has become much more dangerous. Bold. Nishka, you must either make amends to Leldon or pay him back what you owe him or... Owe him? I don't know that two copper thief... Well, two coppers. If you can't guard his own share, that's his fault. Where is he? If you go to Leldon, you'll be placing your lives in danger. Are you certain you wish to do this? I can't allow him to harm Nishka. If there's some... Pe no, that's not what I want to say. If he's threatening Nishka, he's gonna pay. Yeah, what he said. Very well, you can find his home here in the Merchant Quarter. I'll mark the location on your map. Be careful. Not only is his estate patrolled by dogs, but I think he's placed certain warding enchantments against those with your heritage. I think he was expecting you would return Nishka, and he is ready for you. Then maybe it'll be a challenge this time. Very well, is there something else I can help you with? Uh... I heard this establishment used to be different before the war. Indeed, let's just say I haven't yet smoothed out the rest edges. But through my art transactions, I overheard information on Luskin troop movements, knowledge I passed on to Neverwinter. After that, there was much I could do to refurnish this place and change his reputation. What else did you change? I did have to let go of some of my employees and clients. But overall, the change was a, a success, both to my reputation and the mask itself. And to be honest, I feel somewhat better about myself as a result. My previous life had certain emptiness that I no longer feel. Okay, bye. Anybody else in here? Tila, you're obviously dancing like a madman. What's up? Did you enjoy my dance, my lord? We all did. Oh, you're a dancer too. You have the look about you. And what look is that? The disheveled hair, the scent of leaves and twigs that hangs about you, the way you walk, which you could use some refinement. My walk doesn't need refinement, and I'm not a dancer. I have no need to put myself on display for the eyes of others. Enough, you two, let it go. Say what you will to this woman and let's go. Enough of Firma. Did you enjoy my dance, my lord? Wasn't that a variation of the midsummer dance? You know it? That's the first time anyone here has noticed. Mostly they ignore the girls in the common room. I've learned a dance or two in my day. I went to go to Waterdeep and study at the conservatory. Some of the realm's best dancers were trained there. But it's a lot of coin. Too much. And so here I am. Ophala pays well enough and I save what I can. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure with your talent you'll get there someday. You're very kind, but I hope you're right. We lost some influence with Eleni. That's because she's a bit of a stick in the mud. Yeah. She, uh, wait, before we go anywhere. There is an upstairs to this place. We might as well take a quick look. That graphic glitch, though. Wait, why is my thing only recording at 30 frames per second? Oh, we need a key. That could be why something's going on with my recorder. Hmm, one second, I'm gonna fix my recorder. Okay, no idea why it's doing that, but whatever. Not important. At the moment, anyways. Maybe it lowers the frame rate when I'm not doing anything. Oh, no, it's back up to 60. Yeah, so when there's not a lot of stuff on the screen, it lowers the frame rate. Got it. That makes sense. Save some data. Okay, let's go do Leldon's quest. We might as well get that one done. It's over here. We just take a hard right around the corner. It's a small looking house. Inconspicuous, if you will. And let's quick save. We also got a screenshot because F12 is also the Steam screenshot button. Good. Uh, you. I want my dinosaur. 
I believe so. There are two doors. Let's go to this one. You don't really have to open with chain lightning. There's only two of them. Oh well, whatever. Lots of thugs coming in. We'll kill them all. We have like 23 armor and we're still taking a beating. Oh. Probably gonna die here. That's okay. We'll control the Kelgar. They hit pretty hard. I'll definitely give them that, but we are almost killed them all. Except we missed. There we go. 47 experience each. Not bad. And we'll take a quick rest since our character decided to take a mid-combat nap. Why are you not fully healed? There we go. Okay. Some gold. Some gold. Some traps. Anything over here? Nope. This house is bigger than we thought though from the outside. More thugs. God damn it, what are you doing? I know something's on the other side of the door, just fight. Ooh, Nishka took a pretty good hit. Or Eleni, sorry. Our dinosaur is stuck. Not unsurprising though, considering it's huge compared to the area we're in. There are two doors. Kelgar just about killed one in a single hit, and then missed his next attack, so... I mean, he is almost good. What the hell? That's not who I pressed on. Alright, more corpses. Some scrolls. An armor of electrical resistance. There's some loot down here I can see. Potion to cure light wounds. Nothing special. Alright. I think we're getting close to the end of this place. We'll take a quick rest and then continue on our way. Weldon has a lot of thugs under his control. God, that's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have a million screenshots of nothing. I don't even know if I can do this one. Nope. Nishka, you're up. I don't have DC 31. But she does, I'm pretty sure. Do you want to do the trap as well? Because that would be good. Cool. Alright, so the coin will probably be in here. Uh, I'm going to have to disable screenshots. Who in the nine hells would dare to break into my home? I'll cut the- Oh! Hey! Hey, Leldon. I, I didn't mean to wake you up. I actually, I was just leaving. Nishka! Finally got smart, eh? Come to pay me back? Leldon, <laughs> the thing is... Save your breath. You'll need it to scream. You'll be the one screaming after I butcher you and everyone left in this building. Uh, 
uh, that's good from the intimidation angle, but uh, you don't need to be quite so genuine. We only need the coin, you know. After the coin, eh? Yeah, you could have used a little luck. You're just about out. Die. Oops. I didn't want quick chat open. Where's my dinosaur? There's my dinosaur. Fluffykins, I need you in your fighting. Maybe not. This is actually going incredibly well. <laughs> This isn't over, I swear it. Smoke gas. You stupid smoke potions. He always does that when he's lost a fight. The coward. Still, that should have taught him a lesson. He'll never call me goat girl again. Hey, thanks for your help. We'd better get out of here before more of his men show up. No, we're gonna rob him first. Ooh, a cloak of arachnida. We got 39 gold from that pile. 160 from that pile. 102 from the huge pile, which doesn't make any sense. 26 from the moderately small pile. Nishka, you're Everyone totally in the way of my looting. There we go, bunch of gold. We got the lucky coin. What's it do anyways? Plus three re to uh, reflex saving throws. Also, we got a new cloak. It is for poison resistance, immunity to web, and we can cast web. Which means it's basically going to be sold. Oh, uh, there's nothing here. Well, let's loot the body of his dead person. I kind of wanted that dude's rapier. I'm pretty sure it was better than the one I have. It's a little bit unfortunate that we can't have it. But I want it now. No, I closed the door on myself. Alright. We are O-U-T. We have this lucky coin. I'm sure that's not the end of things, though. Almost guaranteed it's not. Alright. So, what's our journal say to do? Speak with Axel Deveri. That's who we're supposed to go see, right. Axel's house is just the... It wasn't a merchant, it was the dude's mansion. He runs the quote-unquote criminal organization in the docks. And Moira is his uh, accomplice, let's say. Or we could say his... His lackey. There we go. She is his lackey. Well, this is a nice little place. There's Moira. Axel's waiting for you inside. We'll speak further when you're through. Tread carefully when speaking with him. Axel may see himself as a businessman, but he can be just as dangerous as any street fighter. Thanks. I've heard enough of his lectures to last a lifetime, but I know there's always a hidden agenda to them. Just be alert. If I was an Axel, where would I be? There's an Axel. So now that you are here, perhaps you'd care to tell me who you are. You have the best voice ever. Didn't Moira tell you about me? I know you seek entrance to Black Lake, where Lord Dalrin was murdered. Yet that does not deter your efforts, despite the potential risk. And as you serve Moira to get entrance into Black Lake, another murder occurs. Lord Brennick. Naturally, I begin to suspect your visit may not be a coincidence. There was... Actually, I only want to speak to Aldenon and Black Lake, nothing more. Aldenon? Ah, 
the sage. Black Lake is now sealed up tighter than ever. It will be difficult for you to reach him. We suspect a rogue mage of some sort. And despite the credence I give to rumor, I suspect the mention of demons may have some truth to it. Demons. But suffice to say, getting into Black Lake is no simple matter. And while it is within our power, it would cost much. So the question is, how much can you offer? I already put the docks back into shape, burned down the watch headquarters, so we can all breathe a, breathe a little easier. Yes, I'm sure you think you solved our problems at the docks, which is why you're working the streets, and I own them. Burning down the watch headquarters? You think that'll increase profits? If so, you're more of a fool than Moya is. To take control, somebody has to be shoved aside. So it may seem to you, as it stands. I'll need to make sure we're all well armed from now on, because not even all the gold in a dragon's hall is going to keep the watch off our back now. Between this and the murders in Black Lake, they'll need someone to swing from the gallows, and unless you fix this problem you made, the one swinging is going to be you. I'll handle it. If we need to be well armed, where do we get the weapons? In time. Patience. The key to a solid business arrangement is understanding, getting along, everyone recognizing their responsibilities, and fulfilling them without the need for bloodshed. Perhaps you think I'm some thug that'd stab a barkeep for his last copper at closing time. That it? That is not my way, as long as I'm able to tax him instead. If that's how you would like thing ha things handled, very well. Indeed. To do that, we need to maintain order in the docks. Our order. The incident with the City Watch building has convinced me that I need to involve myself directly with our operations. To do that, I need Moya closer to me. I may disapprove of her methods, but she has her skills. With me as a counterweight, perhaps we can achieve our goals without dramatic displays of our reach. I agree. Someone needs to keep her under control. Yes. Her methods risk strengthening the City Watch's resolve, rather than bending them to our will. Moya has told me of your encounter with Luskins. They are a complication to our affairs in the docks, and a symptom. I need someone to keep things under control. Why me? The Hounds of the City Watch have been attempting to re-establish their presence in the docks. In particular, their captain, Bralena, is under pressure from the Council. What happens in the alleys of Neverwinter is going to happen no matter what the Watch does to try and crush it. So my preference is we keep it civil. Of course, it helps to get your point across if you carry sharpened steel, and we have a shipment of weapons coming into the docks. But not enough men to make sure it's safe. So I want you to show me what you're made of by making sure that steel gets safely to us, without hounds sniffing us out, with barely a ripple to show where you've been. You're the one I'm picking to make sure it gets where it needs to go. Report to Moya. She'll tell you where you're to meet the shipment and where it needs to go. I'll head to her now. Anything else? Just this. I wanted to get there quietly, without any watch bodies washing up in the harbor. Politics and balance are something Moya hasn't quite grasped, and it's something one must understand to hold on to power in this city. Now go. She's no doubt waiting for you, chomping at her leash. Alright. I guess that's pretty much going to be it for our video for today. We'll call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. We will be beginning this quest and uh stealing whatever's in this armoire which is nothing that's sad how about that one also nothing he doesn't keep very many things in his armoires which is odd it's an odd choice there's nothing else to loot all right i hope you guys have a wonderful new year's it is new year's day today i I'm going to get some chores done, unfortunately. It's one of those kind of days. So, take care. 
Have yourselves a good day and a good beginning to the next year, unless of course you celebrate the new year on a different day, depending on your different cultural proclivities. So if it's not your New Year's Day, then I will be sure to wish you a New Year's on whatever day that is. If it is your New Year's Day though, have a good start to the new year and I'll see you guys next time.